Alright guys, let's create this vellum cloth animation in Blender. Some might call it alien balls, but <laughs> whatever works for you. Select the default cube, go into edit mode, subdivide it, go into mesh, transform, and to sphere. So you want to keep this factor at 1. Duplicate it. Quickly go into your particle system. Add a new particle system. For the number, let's just use 5 for now. Frame start frame 1 and frame end frame 1. We can increase the lifetime to the duration that we want our animation to last. Let me put about 200 frames. We go to the physics, change it from Newtonian to Boyd. For the movement, leave it on allow flight. Go to MISC, bring down banking and bring down pitch. And go to our render, change it from halo to object. And then the instance object, we select this object. We can hide the emitter in the render and viewport display. For the object, we want to increase the scale. All right. So now we have a bunch of spheres colliding with each other. So let me just increase the duration of this, our animation. I think about 400 frames would be alright. You can come here under the Boyd brain. We want to add a goal. And this goal, let's just add an empty here. So go to your Boyd brain object and put that empty object. You can't select the empty object, you can hide this cube and then select the empty. And then you want to take this goal above the flock and you can just press this arrow to move it up let's press play so we have the balls colliding with each other and they don't leave this position so there are some other things that we can adjust like the movement the air personal space i'll bring it down because i want them to just be colliding a bit they shouldn't be intersecting with each other that much so if we increase the rule fuzziness for the separate value or we'll have them stay closer to each other when you are done dialing in those values and you have something that you like we can go ahead and catch then we hit bake so we have successfully baked this particle animation but then the next step we want to put a sphere above everything and run a cloth sim on that. But the problem is cloth sims don't interact with particle systems. So the best thing for us is to go to our file, export this as an Alembic file and bring it back in so that it can interact with our cloth simulation. So select Alembic. Let's just save this somewhere. Let's select this. Put it on only selected objects. Specify the end frame. Ours is 400. And uh, let's just save this somewhere. You can call this <laughs> alien files. Export it. So we want to go to file and import it back. So we have it imported. And it's imported all the spheres separately with their animation. This cube, we can just go ahead and delete this. Also, we can delete this one with the particle system because we don't need it again and now for these balls we have here we can add a modifier and want to add collusion so let's just do this for all of them now the next thing this cube we created let's duplicate this object and move it scale it up place it around them now we can select this modifiers add subdivision surface and let's increase this to the value of three so go ahead and add your cloth see the way we created the spheres were different if you put the normal sphere object in blender you have a lot of issues when you are simulating best options are either to use ico spheres and increase the number of uh, faces or 
you use the method that I used create a cube object and then subdivide it and convert it to a sphere so that you can maintain the quad faces all around it works better for simulation so this way these are the settings that i use for mine you can go ahead and copy this cloth settings and use them in your own simulation. I went ahead to create a more realistic looking scene by placing lights in the right positions. All right, so I've baked some frames so we can see a bit of the animation. So the next thing is to add the materials. Go into rendered mode. Our environment color, we can just bring down down to black. So for this material, if you have a blender kit, you can just search for a translucent plastic. Uh, this seems to work fine. There you have it. I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.